Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco number 172 PB. This is a polished brass threshold. This is the pinnacle of thresholds right here when it's made of solid architectural bronze or brass, and then they put a polish on it. Gorgeous piece of threshold, absolutely. So beautiful, I don't, I don't even dare touch the surface of this, even though it's a sample. Um, 172B, that's representative, well, 172 is representative of its dimensional properties. Six inch wide and half inch tall. This is a saddle threshold. The term saddle comes from, if you use your imagination, it looks like a saddle, okay? Six inch in a saddle is incredibly common. Great complementary uh, uh, width to the threshold. You're going to see thresholds like this installed incredibly reflective. If that wasn't fluted on the top, you'd be able to read the reflection of the monitors on my of, of my computer setup. Where are you going to see this? All the time you're going to see this installed in high-end hotels. They've got a giant courtyard leading out to pools, etc. You've got several sets of double doors that flank the courtyard area where they may hold outdoor weddings. Those doors are going to have solid brass thresholds. The front doors of City Hall in Chicago, solid, bra solid brass thresholds. Museums, they're going to have uh, thresholds like this. High-end homes, you're building, building you're uh, in the south, you're in the southwest of Florida where you've got miles of multi-million dollar homes. You are not likely putting an aluminum threshold on the front of those doors. Um, solid bronze threshold. Why? Well, it's not only elegant and gorgeous because of the base material you can achieve this sort of finish and others which we'll talk about um, but it's incredibly long-lasting this architectural bronze or brass as a material as a base material used in a threshold is significantly more robust than aluminum uh, would be the material is incredibly heavy incredibly durable and long-lasting uh, and it may and it is the uh, not only uh, proper but sometimes only choice to use in certain applications. Finishes on this. Well, because it's architectural bronze, you can really do anything to it. Um, common finishes, of course, the first one is no finish, where it's just ordered as mill. It's the least expensive way to buy it, naturally, because there's no work done at all. Uh, and actually, the back side of that is what mill looks like. Scratched, not scratched, but pitted, streaked not finished whatsoever. It's going to look just like that. Why would you want such a thing? Because you want the threshold to patina over time as a result of its raw exposure to the elements. You might literally want that to be the look. Therefore, you don't want it finished at all. You don't need the additional cost and you don't need that work done to it because it will inhibit the ultimate result. Pemco can do a satin bronze finish on it like uh, what you'd have in a 612 finish. A 606 finish, which would be satin brass. 605, which is this glorious piece of example we have here. That's polished brass on solid brass with a lacquer applied. You can also do this in oil rub bronze, which would be in a gorgeous dark uh, finish. Uh, and again, because you could technically plate this polished chrome if you wanted to. Not that that would be a good idea, but you could because of the base material of what it is. You could powder coat it white if you wanted to. Why would you do that? I don't know, but it might fit exactly what you're building. You might want white for the color scheme, and you might, might want the durability of solid architectural bronze. There you go. This is going to be listed in the website in lots of different lengths, everything from 2 foot to 8 foot. And you can have longer than 8 foot if you like. We just don't list them because the cost to ship them is usually prohibitive. However, if you have a need for longer than 8 foot, just reach it out to us, and we will quote that for you with shipping to you. If you have need for a custom length, then it's very likely that you do. Order the next longest piece or pieces and simply indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to because maybe the last thing you want to do is put a saw onto a piece of polished brass material like this. Okay, So if you order a custom length, we'll not only cut it to length, but and if this was the genuine article, you're going to have a countersink about four inches from the end and then equal center to center, maybe about every eight inch. Um, so if you order a custom length, 
We're also going to give you that first countersink at the proper distance from the edge. And screws will be included in a complementary finish, same base material. Um, probably going to be a number 10 by inch and a half uh, solid brass Phillips drive flathead wood screw with a polished finish on the top of it is how you'd get that as well. Now I've got people that have bought these just in long lengths, not cut to size and not drilled because they need to drill it themselves, cut it themselves, notch it themselves into this scenario. So depending on what your desire, qualifications, job calls for, order it a generic length and field modify it or order it any way that you like. If it was me, the last thing I'd want to do is try to cut this with job site tools and not the tools that the manufacturer has at their disposal to give you that clean factory edge. Okay, uh, And that's how we'll handle different lengths. So we talked about different uh, finishes on this material, different lengths. Obviously you can get this from Pemco in an aluminum based material and all of the anodized finishes. That would be a 172 a for mill aluminum, D for dark bronze, G for gold, things of that nature. And just a glorious piece of weather stripping. I mean that, you can see how shiny that is in the camera, but it's even more regal when you look at it uh, in person, so to speak. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Pemco products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the PEMCO number 172 PB Polished Brass Commercial Threshold or any other PEMCO product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.